Hi there. In this business topic video, we're going to take a look at the simple way to calculate averages and use those in your business exams. Now, of course, there are different types of average. The three that you typically come across are listed on the screen there. The mean, which is the simple arithmetic average of all the values that you're looking at. The median, which is the middle value when you list the values that are measured in numerical order. And there's the mode. This is the value from a group of observations or values that occurs the most often, the most frequent. But in your business exam, you're most likely to be using and considering the mean, the arithmetic average. And there are lots of different ways you can come across or use this in business. For example, it could be that uh, a business is interested in the average or the value, how much each customer buys each time they visit the, stop, uh, the shop or buy online. It could be that the operations and production people are interested in the average output per employee or per machine. Uh, the, uh, the guy running the warehouse or the production line might be interested in the average lead time or the delay it takes for suppliers to provide the goods that they've ordered. And of course, anyone looking at customer service would definitely be interested in the average time that customers have to wait between placing their order and receiving the goods. So averages are widely used in business. And the mean is the simplest and easiest to understand of those averages. How to calculate it then? Well, the arithmetic mean is a really simple calculation, but you need to be confident in remembering how to do it. So let's look at a simple example. The formula is that you add up all the values that you've uh, you've observed, all the values uh, in your sample of data, and divide them by the number of observations or the number of values. Let's have a look at a simple example here, a table that shows for a particular week the number of complaints received by a business. Monday there were eight complaints, Tuesday five and so on. Looks like Friday was the worst day, 12 complaints, whereas at the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, just two and one complaint respectively. So there's our data. There are seven uh, observations, Monday, Tuesday through to Sunday, and our data set is the number of complaints on each day. And the question is, what is the average number of complaints for the week? Well, maybe if you want to st uh, stop the video and have a go at calculating it, and then uh, press play again to see whether your answer is correct. What we do is we sum up all the values and then we divide by the number of values or observations. So adding up 8 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 12 plus, 12, uh, plus 2 plus 1 and then divide by 7, the 7 days of the week. Well, my math suggests that's 38, 38 complaints over the week divided by 7. That's 5.4 complaints per day. Now, of course, you might argue, how can you have a 0 0.4 of a complaint? And the answer is you can't. You can't have half a complaint or 0 0.4 of a complaint. But of course, it's a numerical average. So you might round that up to six, maybe an average of six per day. Now, you can also use averages or you may be asked to use averages to calculate other data. So you may be given some average information and some other data that may enable you to calculate a different number. So let's have a look at an example of this. Uh, we've got a fashion retailer here business called Queen BD. The fashion retailer has 14 stores around the UK and its stores are divided into two types, small and large. It's got 10 small stores, which in the latest year achieved an average sales per store of £250,000. And it's got four large stores, which achieved average sales in the latest year of £600,000. Now the question is, can you calculate Queen BD's total sales for the latest year? Again, if you want to have a go, pause the video and then resume it once you've had a go at calculating the total sales for the latest year. Well, it's clear that we can use the average data, which of course must be the average for each of the 10 stores for the small and the four stores for the large to work out what the total of all the values must have been by multiplying the average by the number of stores. So if we do that for small, we'll see that the, the total sales for the small stores must have been two and a half million. And for the large stores, four of them at an average of 600,000 must have been 2.4 million pounds. So therefore, the total sales for the retail as a whole, adding up all the 14 stores, add up the two numbers, two and a half million plus 2.4 million, the total sales must have been 4.9 million pounds. So that's how you can use the average 
with other data to calculate other numbers. So that's been a brief introduction to how to use calculations that include averages, and in particular, calculating the mean.